What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another late night in the brew lab with me, Lone Fox, your brewmaster in chief. And tonight in the brew lab, I'm coming at you with. <laughs> Have I got a sweet one lined up for you guys tonight? It's an Azorius Artifacts Combo Jank Brew. <laughs> and uh, I probably should have saved this one for an episode of, uh, you know, Serious Jank. But there's something to it. And I do have a bunch of really strong decks lined up for tomorrow. There is a poll now up on the channel. Please all go and cast your votes so that we can, you know, decide which of those stronger brews we will be playing tomorrow. But for tonight, without further ado, let's jump into the brew, Mindlink Thresher. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a doozy. I've been having loads of fun with it. It's definitely a very early version one. We definitely need to still make some adjustments. I've hardly played any matches with it, um, but I was a little, a little strapped for time does this it just drives me crazy the a just stops working um and so you know now just at first glance jumping back into this after you know a few matches with it runic shot may be the cut we may need to just play something a little bit better than runic shot but i thought it's azorius it is destroy target tap creature you do get to scry it's quite cheap if it was instant speed i would definitely keep it the fact that it's sorcery speed makes it a little bit less desirable but uh, we're trying to end games sooner than you know later so we may not really need uh, that much removal but we do have some and we've also got some counter magic so between uh, runic shot and disruption protocol i'm hoping to keep the board in check uh, whilst we try to get off our combo um, which is if you have not spotted it already to crew the uh, mind link mech with the combat thresher player michigo's reign of truth give the mind link mech all of the additional power and toughness <clears throat> of which there should be a lot because we are running almost entirely artifacts and or enchantments um, which then with the double strike because you are um copying a, a combat thresher which has double strike ought to win us the game <clears throat> but we do need you know other win cons you can't just survive with that so we do have the patchwork automaton which is quite nice we do have uh the steel seraph which is freaking fantastic uh this card really made it so that the um selesnia artifacts brew that i put up a few days ago uh actually wins games and i highly recommend that if you have not crafted this one yet mm, it, it, this is a proper doozy uh we can also give our automaton flying lifelink what have you with it uh don't forget you can draw cards with the combat thresher when it etbs you can play it on turn three you can play it on turn seven we've got um those for knowledge for some additional card draw Some things happening. Uh, I wonder if it's going to gain us any wins on the Mythic Ladder, but I definitely am amped to give it a try. So, as far as the mana base goes, we've got two Mishra's Foundries, one Mech Hanger, one uh, Hall of Tagsin, one uh, Crystal Grotto. Then the rest is just basic stuff, uh, you know, things we're used to. A Ganjo, Tawara, some duels, and some basics. Mindling Thresher. Let's jump into some games and see how the deck performs. I got Boros Burn and Boros Prowess like uh, almost ready. I'm still not sure which way to play it yet, but the Painlands almost bring the old Boros Burn back. Like it feels almost exactly as it was before rotation without the Luminar Casperin. Fine. We don't really need it anymore because of the Meatook Massacre being banned. So yeah, all in all, pretty stoked. War 2, Lit in Dark. Mm. 
playing Titania for sure. Nice. Swing for eight. Yeah, I don't know about runic shot. The flyer is just better right now, honestly. Ooh. Why, hello there. Um, okay. bothered yeah definitely getting rid of runic shot i just don't know what to replace it with maybe the new like two mana double strike Close. So close. Sweeper or bust? Do you have a way of killing my Steel Seraph? Or don't you have a way of killing my Steel Seraph? Probably pretty bummed that you just milled that Path of Peril, honestly. That's the flyer blocker, dude. But we still got you. Because we got two flyers. Bye bye. All right. Cool. Not terrible. Let's make some brew labifications while we're at it, because I'm not feeling some of these cards. Um, I'm starting to think I would like to sort of do some live brewing, uh, kind of a la croquis. I've been avoiding it because I don't want to copy anybody, but I like building brews on the fly for you guys, so you can kind of sort of see my process. But thirst for knowledge, is this really what we need? Draw three, discard an artifact. Hmm. I was even thinking about playing the uh, stall for time, but the kicker is just a bit much. Hmm. 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 
Nah, not cool. I don't know. It's a tough one. Then runic shot. Mm. 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 Three drop. That's better than thirst for knowledge. We're drawing some cards with the combat thresher. Maybe we keep it. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> also, runic shot. Oh my goodness, so difficult. You just play March. I don't want to be exiling any of my own things. The only kind of comparable one mana decent thing that we have right now is the new one, but you need to play that in mono white. You don't really want to. We've only got four planes. Like, nah. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe we just don't play removal. We go for the, like, save my stuff mode. Just play Lauren's Escape. Or, like, March of the, the, the Blue March. Man, this is tough. Like I've been I've been at this one for a few hours trying to find the best combination of spells. Let me just play one more and just give Runic Shot one more try and then we see how it goes. But otherwise we 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 get rid of one one drop, which it it's really a two drop because of the kicker, and we just put in that new spell that exiles things and forces the opponent to pay an additional two. Boat jangles. Mr. Bojangles. What a trash hand. It's like when you're when you're putting away the runic shot every time you see it in your opening hand and you mulligan. Uh, it's probably a good reason for that. Good old Rafine. Yeah, this is the... Still the strongest deck in the format. IMO. It just got better. You can play the new Teferi. You can play the Evangel. Like, just kick ass overall. Now, the question is... Aha. Uh -huh. No lands, huh? Swing in for ten. Could be a lot worse. <laughs> Sorry, Esper. Did you get mana screwed? Just a tiny bit mana screwed. Did you discard a deserted beach like a noob? I think you did. No pity. Zero pity for Mr. Discarded his third land for some reason. I guess his hand was jacked aft, but you need to, you know, have mana <laughs> to play that hand. So maybe next time keep the lands. Ooh. Cheers.
Mm. I don't know. Something instant speed. I think we're gonna we're gonna try the new one. Let's load up on two drops. Who cares? Boop, 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 boop. Obviously, ups the um, budget requirements for the deck quite significantly, especially those of you who are still struggling a little bit to accrue wild cards and the new cards from the set. I don't want to get you to rush out and craft yourself a full playset of this removal spell I've just put in. <clears throat> it's obviously quite strong, but... Yeah, still a little bit uncertain. White sauce, please. Love it when the deck just just listens like that. It's like, ooh, ooh, baby. Transmigrant cannot block. Ah, there it is. Teferi's body couldn't travel through time far enough, but with Kai's help, his spirit could. Is this a zombie? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I like. I could have blocked that, honestly. Combat Thresher, everybody. Combat freaking Thresher. Okay, a swift 3 0. Uh, am I onto something here? Maybe. Is it faster than Gruel or Mono Red or whatever? Probably not. Is it fun, new, and interesting? Oh, hells yeah. Be waiting for another cool target for the mind link. One of my favorite cards from Kamigawa, like that combo giant's brew, <coughs> which it immediately slotted into, was super fun to play. Okay, okay, sure. <laughs> Triple Michi goes, what could go wrong? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're popping off. Draw a card, trigger the patchwork, double striker. Man, what a cool card. He's probably going to remove it, like, right now. Just good old mono red. Doing its thing. Yeah, well, what can you do? If he hits us with a thundering Raiju now, we're probably just dead. Eleven. On the dot. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> the one card that would have done it. E even Thundering Raiju... Yeah, I think, yeah Thundering Raiju would have done it as well. 
Nice. Mono red, still freaking strong. I've got a new RDW lined up coming your way. Like, I actually want to play it in so many different ways. There's, um, you know, big red, mono red, mid range uh, stuff. There, there, there's, there's stuff that can be done here. Finally, uh, another copy of Steel Seraph. Only saw one on game one. Um, you know, with the new mechanized warfare, three mana enchantment, red sources and artifact sources you control deal an additional one damage. Makes your play with fires deal three, your whatever, you know, your creatures deal one more, etc. You can play that in a, like, very low to the ground, like 18 lands, only one drops type of thing. Or you can play it in, like, red control. <clears throat> I need a land. Please land. Please land. Land, 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 land. Hmm, and then, if we do get a land, are we gonna hit it? The Thresher or the Seraph? What, you kept a one land hand, and you didn't make your second land draw, and now you're roping me. I have an idea. I'm going to cut like one or two thirsts for knowledge and I'm going to put in the uh, Urza's sky ship or whatever it's called. The thing with the giant Urza head. Sometimes I just wonder. Third land, please. There we go. Now we, we're looking at Wandering Emperor, but... Counter spell? <clears throat> no. Sure. I'll take the extra card draw any day of the week. Uritai, of all the things in the world. Wow, this card is freaking sweet. with Urtai. Doesn't block with Urtai. One Steel Seraph off the top and we are loving life, baby. <clears throat> wow. Next level bollocks, mate. Okay, so... Let's hopefully draw a land here. A white land. God, I love you, deck. I love you. <clears throat> Honestly, I just... Wow. 
sometimes I don't really know what to say. <clears throat> I cannot believe that that just happened. Block AO with uh, the mind link mech. Hopefully, he doesn't have one last infernal grasp in his hand. Come on, just whiff, baby. Just whiff. Absolute whiffage. You just found a flyer. Oh uh, my goodness gracious me. You gotta block <clears throat> Rafine. I wish I had one more blue source available. Of course you have a second copy of Rafine. Like, why wouldn't you? Makes perfect sense. Double card draw. Double connive. We lose. We lose. Unbelievable. This person just really absolutely wow. I cannot believe that that just happened. Like that was the most disgusting draws. How did you actually win that game? It blows my mind. You you had a second Rafine. <laughs> oh my god. So close though. We almost just destroyed like what is probably the best deck in the format. So, so this is the card I'm I'm thinking of adding. How are we doing for time? Okay, we we play one more game with it as is, and then we'll switch over to maybe just like a two of of this guy, giving our artifacts flash. <clears throat>
Hmm. Hmm. What's going on? It's not usual for it to be this long. Am I going to bump into someone from Diamond? <clears throat> Okay. One of these. Draw. Okay, well, we get an opportunity to do that change. The Battle Thopter. <laughs> I can just imagine Urza, like, commanding his minions. I want a Thopter, and I want my face on it. I want it to be freaking huge. There we go. So when it goes long like that, you're either having trouble matching and it's uh, gonna pair you against like a lower rank or something. What a stupid hand. Maybe just mono white. Okay. Wow, what a night this has been. <laughs> Some crazy matches, people conceding. A win's a win. That's what I always say. Michel Limon. Aha, we have ourselves a Frenchman who's also rocking the full freaking kitted out. Check out me, I have cards and stuff. Sleeves, pet, you name it. Banky boy. Mech first, then the Thresher. Maybe should have held up counter magic, but I want to try and just get in for eight next turn, especially against green. They do run plenty of artifact removal. The Seiju, case in point. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. So next turn, if we get away with it, and if the opponent decides to do something, we will, um, not, not the next turn, but the one after that, we first crew our Mind Lake mech, then play Michigo's Reign of Truth. Juicy. Oh, that's juicy. 
And we can play the Steel Seraph first, which is also pretty freaking nice. Now I'm worrying about, you know, these fight spells that Green uses for dealing with stuff. Also, the big ape is bad news for us because it destroys artifacts. Definitely the reason why it was printed with that text. Because they knew the next set was coming. Oh, go on, dude. Mr. Michel... <coughs> Michel Limon. From France. Or Belgium. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Okay, unfortunately we can't go steal Seraph. We take lots, so we have to win. Wow, we tapped the, the flyer. I mean, the, the reacher. So... Yes, one white source still available. Crew Mind Link Mech. Okay. Michigo's Reign of Truth. On the Combat Thresher. Life Link. Game over. Hello! <laughs> Hello! All right, that's it. That's going to be it. <laughs> I don't think we have time for another match. I don't think it's going to get any better than that. We just pulled off the full-blown combo about as good as it's possible to get it. Like, didn't even need the uh, patchwork automaton. Did not get to see the final uh, little adjustment to the deck with the one-off liberator, but I think it's worth the slot. Overall, what I think about the deck... Honestly, pretty freaking nice. Uh, I don't know about the hotshot mechanic, though. We could definitely consider playing something other than that. There's some interesting new... <clears throat> uh, you know... One drops. No. I was thinking of playing um, the... Instead, we, we could just cut the hotshot mechanic because we don't really need to crew anything. And yes, it's an artifact, but we could just play the surge thing instead. And that might be just even better. A little bit of card draw, unblockable, yada yada. It's still an artifact. The only vehicle we have in the deck is Mind Link Mech. <clears throat> And we're not trying to crew it with the hotshot mechanic. We're trying to crew it with the combat thresher. So maybe the surge engine is a, a good upgrade. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think there's much else that we could add. Um, maybe the Prince of Krug gives our guys plus two, plus two. Might be a way to go. Uh, there's, there's options. I mean, there's still so much going on with this new set that I honestly, I, I, I'm, I open the client in the morning and I'm like overwhelmed by the, the, the amount of different decks that I could be brewing up right now. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I definitely, absolutely did. And I would like to thank everybody for watching, especially those of you who stick around to the end. As you know, you are my favorite people in the whole wide world. I will be seeing you all tomorrow with another fresh, fresh brew. And until then, this is Lone Fox from the Brew Lab, signing out. Peace, y'all.